So what we're going to do real quick is change the hardware buttons that's on this TC52. And how we do that, we go into settings. I defaulted this device just so I know what the defaults are for my keys. So on this TC52, I have two side scan buttons, which are the lower buttons. Above the left side, I have another button, which is a push to talk or a function button. Above my right scan button, I have a volume up and a volume down and unique to the TC52 on the back there is actually a physical button that also does scanning. So if I look here, button L2, left trigger 2, which is going to be my push to talk button. Button L1, that's described as my rear button, so that's scanning. I want to leave that one alone. Button R1, right trigger. And then this one's unique, scan. Scan actually is my left scan button. So really the same as button R1 and scan. So the value given to both of those is it's going to enable the scanner. So, but let's just say on the right side, I want to make it, um, I want to make it do something else. I, I have all sorts of options to where I can um, do a push to talk, wake up, sleep, power, and whatnot, uh, bring up photos, contacts, and camera. So, We'll just say I'm going to remap the right trigger to camera because when I press that right side, I want to bring up that camera. So you see now, camera, right trigger one. If I go back here, I press my right trigger and it will bring up um, my camera application. So you can see that came up. So if I want to go ahead and if I change that and I want to put it back, I'll go back to key to programmers and right trigger one, which was before button R1. And so I want to scroll and look for that. You can see there's lots of options. Um, also, just to show, there are shortcuts you could bring up with the button. So if you're not using the push to talk button, you want to use it as a function, you could always bring it up as uh, one, of these, um, one of these applications that are predefined or something else that you have. So, but for now, I'm going to leave it as <coughs> button R1, so when I press on my right scanner button, it will find it. Thank you.